All right, what are we looking at? This is the baby. This is the new ice. So I basically fill it up with water, put it in the, the freezer for about 16 hours at minimum, probably max, I mean not max, but 24. Then you're gonna basically pop it out. I've already had it sitting here. And basically, as you can see, it's solid ice all the way through down there. Well, not, it may not be solid all the way, but that doesn't matter. The freezing happens at the top all the way down, but all the impurities are pushed to the bottom. So what we should have is when we open it is that crystal clear ball. Oh, it, it's pretty perfect. Yes, 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 yes. That is exactly what we're shooting for and looking to have. It's gonna come out. Almost perfect. Yep. So, and there you have it. Ice that you can pretty much see through. And it's got some jaggies, but not many as far as it goes. Um, it can even have a little bit because if it was, uh, not a little bit, but um, if you bring it out too early, it might not be completely frozen. But as you can see, it's, it's pretty crystal clear. Um, you get some imperfections from the sides here. Bam, bam, bam. That's the one big benefit of my big boy um, around here somewhere. That it eliminates any imperfections. This guy eliminates any. I could take this ice ball in there right now and spin it. And it'll smooth it out on all sides, which is kind of cool. It would actually just turn it into a spear. If I had my tongs, I'd do it. I don't like picking up my ice with my hands. So, yeah. kind of going in on that. So, there's the clear ice, kind of ready to go, rocking and rolling. And so, what are we going to do since I'm here and I got this clear ice ball that it's just crying for some alcohol? So, what we're going to do is I'm going to make a old-fashioned uh, my style um, I'm gonna use Fortaleza uh, delicious I don't this should be I, I, it should be fine on its own but you know I'm just gonna do a little Fortaleza Fortaleza and I'm gonna do two ounces Orange bitters. A couple of shots of orange bitters. Um, it's always interesting when you're dealing with um, an old fashioned, especially when you're dealing with an Aniho and a darker color. Um, you can go with um, some darker. go with a little darker uh, expression on there. Darker expression. Uh, darker notes. Uh, like some chocolate. And I think my chocolate bitters are hiding from me. Oh, there they are. They're right in front of me. I was using them the other day. Nice citrusy note with an orange. So I get a little fancy. Put an orange in there. Gotta go in on that. Yeah. Oh, chocolate bitters. Boom, boom, boom. Got a chocolatey note. Um, gonna hit up with um, a little bit, just a pinch of mezcal.
Just don't worry about the brand. Yeah, I know. But about 15 milliliters of mezcal. And going in. Going in. Gives it that little smoky. I'd actually be able to pop out my smoker and actually smoke this puppy. Um, but I don't feel like going through that much work. Uh, this drink is going to be sensational no matter what. With the clear ice. So, bon appetit. All right, so got that, got that. Got the mezcal in there and I'm going to rinse uh, 15 milliliters of Fifteen milliliters of Grand Meunier, orange liqueur, orange and chocolate. Who knew? And I'm looking around, and I can never find my stuff. I was gonna put a fresh lime in there and a fresh lemon, and I'm like, eh, okay, I won't do that. I'm just gonna add some sour, sweet sour juice. Kind of give it a little top off. Give us a little top off. As I walk around for the longest spoon I can find. And I just give it a couple of twirls. Make sure I kind of mix that up. Salute. As you can see, yeah, that looks pretty good. I'll get one. Yum.